point, I've never flown with a reserve. Right or wrong, there's lots of different debates about flying with reserves. You know, I've looked at some of the pros and the cons, and I ended up ordering one. And I'm going to start flying with a reserve. Not because I, I'm really going to intentionally do anything too crazy. It's a peace of mind. And there's really no reason not to fly with one, honestly. Not so long ago, I put a poll up on the Paramotor Facebook page, kind of canvassing guys about who flies with one, who doesn't. And um, I was actually surprised on how many don't fly with reserves. Uh, but overwhelmingly, most guys do. And I think if you speak with most of the experienced guys, they're going to tell you, yeah, fly with a reserve. Look what I got. I went and picked up the rest of my wing from paragliding.ca. And I also ordered a reserve. Honey. Uh, I love you. <laughs> okay, let's see what we got in here. Okay, we got so this is my stuff sack. This is my reserve. Excellent. Get that hooked up. Should be the rest of the stuff for my wing. Moto bag for my wing. Speed bar. Wind sock. Wing repair kit. Beauty. You start off with lots of luck and no skill. Try to get the ladder before the former runs out. <laughs> Okay, we gotta get this hooked up. Let's do it. There it is. Uh, new reserve installed. Uh, this reserve, I'll put a link in the description box to um, just to show which one it is. Uh, it's just the round circle one, it's not the steerable one. Um, but I don't ever plan to use it, so it's gonna be like a super last resort. But this is how I installed it. It's just uh, basically has Velcroed onto my J-bars. And then uh, run the straps just outside and used Velcro to uh, just run it and attach it along uh, the frame. And then it's just got these D-links that uh, attach to the top of my harness on each side here. So pretty simple to install. I've flown it a couple of times so far. And the only thing that it's going to take some getting used to is so after I, I launch, uh, I usually use my right hand to go down and scoop myself into the seat. Uh, so this is kind of right where I put my hand to to push my my seat down. Uh, so it's just going to take some getting used to getting in there to, to kind of scoop it in. Other than that, it's not really in the way during flight. Don't really notice it. It's a super light. It's like under two kilograms in weight. And yeah, seems to work good. Let's go do some flying. Oh yeah, I love those nice easy launches. It is like 28 degrees out here right now. Unbelievably nice evening. Buddy Dave was like, come on, man, let's just do it. But yeah, you're right. There goes Dave.
Hello? 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 Okay, I got gotcha. you. Wow, look at the sunset, dude. Yeah. So anyway, how was your summer, my friend? Yeah, summer's been really good. You, not, uh, you know, not as much flying as I would like, but more than, more than I have in other summers, so that's good. Yeah, that's good. Oh, that's what summers are for. Yeah, what about you? All the time at the lake? A lot of the time was at the lake. Uh, and then I went up to Drayton Valley for a couple of days. Yeah. And... Yeah, I like that video. That looks like a really nice place. It's a, it's a really great setup. You know, like, I think we need to plan a, a fly trip there because they got everything that you need. Like, if you set up a tent, like, there's a full kitchen, there's bathrooms and showers, and, like, it's really cool. Yeah. Uh, needless to say, you can see I got a new wing. Yeah, nice. Can't keep up to you now. So um, I've been trying to get some hours on this and get yeah. the get the feel of it and learn how to fly it as much as I can. Yeah, it'll take some time. Yeah, it's been such a beautiful summer, hey? Yeah. Like the oh, wet yeah. the weather has been so good. Yeah. So different than uh, last year. Yeah. So hot, so dry. Have you had lots of flying in? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I've been doing quite a bit. I don't know. Like, I haven't looked at my logbook to kind of track it. Well, you know, to add it up. But, yeah. I've got some hours in. Look at that. I'm flying over a ghost town. You got like a flashlight flashing, is that like a yeah. strobe? Yeah, trying, uh, trying to be safe. Oh, it's a strobe? It's just a little bicycle light. Oh, look at you. Yeah. Nice. Hey, I can't even keep up to you. I'm fully trimmed out here. Are you trimmed out? Yeah. Oh, I'm only about half. You're half trimmed out? I'm half trimmed out, yeah. Blessing of a difference flying with this wing, I tell you. Yeah? What do you... What do you notice different besides uh, the speed? Uh, well, the, the maneuverability, like the agility of the wing, yeah. is yeah. is night and day, really. Yeah, I bet. And then even the launching and the landing is um, is completely different. Really? Yeah, well, it just it seems easier, I guess. You know, I don't. it's certainly not a beginner wing, but for an experienced guy, like, once you know what you're doing, like, it just... The way that it inflates, well, you saw my launch. Yeah. Like, yeah. it just seems kind of a lot easier. And um, when I'm coming in for landing, I particularly notice it just because of the glide ratio on it. It just wants to stay in the air. It doesn't drop yeah. me drop me like a wet sock. Oh, it's cycling. Where? On the road there. You're right. Oh, yeah. I think they're passing me. <laughs> I think I'm keeping pretty steady with them. We're going... Uh, I'm going to go back down. 24, 25 kilometers an hour. Yeah, so Woody, uh, you know, like, I kind of I kind of like him because I can kind of relate to, you know, some of the things he talks about and his kind of thoughts and feelings about Stuff. Yeah. Because he, he really puts it all out there. Like He does, yeah. And, but at the same time, like, he's really, like, I feel like his approach is, he's trying to be safe. He's, he's trying to get good instruction from good people, but, um, how can I put this? He, he's trying to learn a lot of new things, like, uh, really fast. Yeah. And, um, and that's good. You, like, we should all be trying to learn and improve our skills. But with flying, it's not like a normal, it's not like 
learning to play hockey where every time you go out to practice, you, you, you know, you give it 100% and try to improve your skills. Yeah. But, but flying, like, your safety in flying is only partly due to your skills, but it's probably mostly to do with decision making. Yeah, I agree 100%. And decision making is something that you can't rush to learn. You know, like, it, it just takes experience. And, I mean, flying a lot will gain you that experience, but, you know, I just remember um, hearing a, an interview that Chris Sander Croce did, He's like one of the big time uh, instructors in North America. Yeah. And he said, but when I, his, uh, I really like this thing. He said, when I feel that a student is ready is when a student will say, uh, will choose not to fly on a day that might be flyable or maybe some other people are flying. Yeah. But the student is, is mature enough or experienced enough to say, you know what? Today is not my day, so I'm just going to stay on the ground. Yeah, absolutely. And, uh, it kind of sounded like that's kind of what happened to Woody. Like, he, he was in a, I don't know, what he read, said, right? Like, it was a really windy day. And, you know, he kind of thought it was windy, but the instructor thought he, he was ready for it. You know? Yeah. Sometimes you just got to say, uh, no.